learn arm wrestling, and get stronger together. All right, so you want to learn how to top roll. There are three main components I want you guys to really focus on for a good top roll. Number one, you want your opponent to reach for you. So never offer your hand over towards your opponent. Offer your, off your hand nearly over top of your own pad. When your opponent reaches across, inevitably their hand has to drop down and you're going to end up with a higher hand position. Next, so that's number one. Next step, when we close our thumbs, we want to make our thumb as big as we can. If you just close neutrally like that, it's so this is your pronation chain coming down your hand, down from your, from your fist, this top knuckle is down through here. You want your opponent to not cover that. If they can wrap around that pronation chain, they're going to be able to cut in your pronation. So by pushing your thumb out, it's making this surface around here much bigger and your opponent can't reach around your pronation chain. So if we have an example, so I'll just neutrally close my thumb and then so come in for a close up of our hands. So if you look here, now when he closes his hands, this is my pronation chain going well within his fingers here. But now if we open up, now I make my thumb nice and big, I push it out. Now when we close, my pronation chain is going along his fingertips and it's much easier to then get outside of his hand. Now, number three, and this is the really secret sauce, because this is a mistake I see so many people do right up to the highest level. And I'll show some examples of that now. Um, it's cup. I see so many people trying to get their shoulder in to get a bit of shoulder pressure, which is good, but then that forces their hand to go backwards. And so they start their, um, their top roll with a compromised cup, and so the first thing that happens is they get their hand taken. So instead of starting with my hand backwards like this, and maybe come around the other side. So instead of starting with my hand backwards like this, I want to start with cup. But you can see we're not going to get this as a legal start, right? The ref's not going to be happy because I'm cupped in. So what I should do is I'll push my elbow towards my center line and now you can see my hand is flat to the side of the table but look how much cup I've got in that much and it's fully legal because I'm flat to the side of the table so once again make your opponent reach for you so he has to come over here and drop his webbing close our thumbs by making a big surface pushing your thumb out Close your hands, making sure you're, you're on the positive side of neutral with your cup, but still flat to the side of the table for a legal start. And then you go. You've already got everything, so it should be a nice, easy victory. Do all three from the top view. Yep, that's a good idea, actually. So you want your opponent to reach for you, so that inevitably drops their webbing height. Number two. You want to make a big surface with your thumb so that your opponent can't wrap around your pronation chain. So now his, his, my pronation chain is in his fingertips, so it's easy to break out. And number three, you don't want to start with your cup backwards like this. You want to push your elbow more towards your center line. And that way, if you look, I'm starting with my cup most or half of the way fully cupped and it's legal because my hand is flat to the side of the table so the ref's going to be happy beautiful